Hi the gorgeous ones. Thank you for having you all. Episode 4 of Euphoria Season 2 begins with Rue reflecting on how much she loves Jules. Through a series of reenacted love scenes, Do you understand how much I love Jules? We see the pair's affection for one another. Brokeback Mountain, Titanic and even Sleeping Beauty are depicted. Unfortunately, Rue's feelings are completely muddied by being high on drugs. While Jules is going down on her, Rue fakes an orgasm. I'm coming! Rue. Jules knows. Of course she knows. And naturally she heads off and speaks to Elliot about it. Jules starts to doubt herself so Elliot shows her how it's done by practicing on his hand. Unfortunately, this also leads to the pair kissing. Until Rue messages and confirms she's outside. Hold up, didn't we learn during the standalone chapter last year that Jules is completely done with men? Well, I guess not. Anyway, Jules is clearly conflicted over her true feelings, breathing heavily while lying on Elliot's bed. And even worse, when Rue goes to the bathroom, the pair end up kissing again. Meanwhile, the situation between Cassie and Maddie continues to grow ever more volatile. While Nate can keep his feelings buried, his body language says otherwise. Folded arms, standoffish and avoiding Maddie's eye contact, his robotic response to why he loves her speaks volumes. Cassie, however, is far less nonchalant. She painfully smiles through Maddie's birthday and she's racked with guilt. Cassie's drama stems from Nate's feelings, and specifically how she'll do anything to make sure he and Maddie don't get back together. Cassie essentially blackmails him into a relationship, warning Nate that she's crazier than Maddie and will happily tell her best friend everything. Even his strained I love you doesn't do the trick. At Maddie's party, Maddie speaks to Kat, who's clearly depressed. Kat admits that she hates Ethan and isn't sure what to do. So Maddie tells her she needs to do what she feels is right, and admits she had a feeling things weren't right between them. Speaking of not right, Cal, with a bandaged head, goes out for a drive while drinking. It's reckless, dangerous and bound to end in tears. Drunk, he shows up at the old bar he frequented as a student, reminiscing on the precious moments with Derek from his past. While he puts a song on and dances, an absolutely beautiful montage ensues, with Cal dancing and Cassie losing control, unbeknownst to her that she's being watched while she dances in a bathing suit in the lounge. Cal is kicked out the bar for trying to wrestle the patrons and eventually gets back in his car, tears stinging his eyes, and heads home. Cal begins urinating all over the floor. With his family watching on, Cal snaps and admits that Marsha is his biggest regret and that as a family, they all have secrets. When the attention turns to Nate, he claims his entire life is a mystery. Interestingly, he has the family portrait under his arm the whole time he's speaking. And with that, he leaves and decides not to return. Meanwhile, Elliot reveals the truth to Jules about Rue. He's had enough of lying and drops the news about how Rue hasn't been sober all this time. I lied to you. Rue's not sober. She hasn't been since I met her. She's been doing everything from heroin to fentanyl to benzos. And I know that because I've been doing it with her. As we jump back to Rue, we dive into her psyche and, specifically, how dangerously close she is to having another overdose. She misses her father, and as the pair subconsciously embrace, it's clear he's the catalyst for Rue's misery and depression. She's taking drugs recklessly to try and be closer to her father whom she believes is on the other side. With Jules one of the sole reasons she's continuing on, how is that going to play out now that Jules knows the truth? Let's know your thoughts on comments, and if you enjoyed it? Don't forget to hit the subscribe button, turn on the notification bell for more videos. See you soon!